Bring your drawing to front view. Draw a line from this point to this point, which is 30 units. So type L for line command. Click anywhere on the screen. Move your cursor to the right and enter 30. Offset this line for two units, which is a distance from this point to this point. So type O for offset command and enter 2. Type L for line command. Click the endpoint to endpoint. Right click to repeat line, endpoint to endpoint. And the distance from here to here is also 2, so I'm just going to offset. So two units. Now draw a line from this endpoint. Bring your cursor to the right about that uh, 45 degree angle. If not, press tab and enter 45 to create uh, a 45 degree angle. So type TR for trim command, enter twice. Remove this one and this line. I'm just gonna mirror this one. So type MI for mirror command. Click that line from midpoint and follow that um, green dash line. As long as it's straight, you can click anywhere and select no. Type TR for trim command and remove that object. Before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap and um, right click here over polar tracking and click tracking setting and uh, for the increment angle add 45 degrees if it's not present here click new and just type in 45 degrees and click this drop down arrow click 45 degrees to make uh, to make it current and as you can see here uh, it's checked meaning 45 degree, 45, 135, 180 are current. Now let's continue. And the distance from this point up here is 9 units. So I'm just going to do a construction line. It's easier that way. So L for line command from midpoint, enter 9 units. And the distance from for this line here, from this point to this point, is 20 so type L for line command don't click yet just hover over and then from in point move your cursor to the right and enter 10 and then bring it back for 20 units now we have to create an arc with seven radius. So click this drop down arrow, select uh, start and radius options for arc. And click this uh, endpoint to this endpoint. Or press control to move it to the other direction. It's easier to start from this uh, endpoint there and then enter 7. Mirror this one, uh, specify first point of mirror line, and just click anywhere as long as this one is straight. Click and select no, and the distance from this line. And this line here is one unit as shown here. So offset, enter one, and offset this line. Draw a line in point to in point, another line in point to in point. And then another line uh, from this point to this point, which is two and it's uh, 16 millimeters. I'm just going to draw a construction line, so type L from midpoint, bring it up for two units. 
and then draw a line for 16 millimeters. So type L for line command, just hover over, or you can shift right click and select temporary tracking points or select from. So from this point, move your cursor to your right for half of, okay, wait, that's 16, so eight, and then bring back your line for 16 units. All right, let me check. So this is 16 and the distance from here to here is two. And then draw an arc from this point to this point. Do the opposite side. And enter a radius of three and then mirror this arc specify point of mirror line and select no all right construction line again for 24.32 so l for line command from midpoint move your cursor upward for 24.32 and the line here is 12 so l for line command just hover over from the endpoint, don't click yet. Move your cursor to the right and enter six. Bring back your line to the left and enter 12. And draw an arc. Click this um, endpoint here. And this endpoint, oh, it's the opposite side. Start from here to here. There you go and enter 28.26 this one here and then mirror this one mi for mirror command click this arc locate midpoint as the as your first point of mirror line and bring down your cursor just follow the straight line click anywhere and select no and the distance from this point to this point is 2. So I'm going to offset. O for offset command, enter, and enter 2. Click this line, and click that side. And then I'm going to draw an arc from this point to this point. You can use, from modify panel, you can use fillet. And just click that line and this line. Right click to repeat fillet click this line and that line now i'm gonna draw another construction line for 15.71 so type l for line command from midpoint bring your cursor upward for 15.71 draw a circle we can use three point circle Click this in point, that in point, and that in point, and then trim. So type TR for trim command, enter twice, and just click that there, and click this one, and delete that. So I'm just going to delete these lines. And draw a line so type L for line command from midpoint up to that midpoint and type TR for trim command enter twice select the whole thing and then delete that delete this one this one delete that Now join the segments by typing J for join command, enter, and select the whole thing. Now revolve command, so go to this uh, drop down arrow here and select revolve. Click this object and specify axis start point 
so which is the center here or the in point here bring your cursor upward and click this in point and enter 360 degrees now we're done I'm just gonna turn off the grid maximize this one and type materials and I'm gonna use cherry this one here apply I'm just gonna copy this one duplicate and use this one as uh, current and then click this uh, pen I'm just gonna make this darker And uh, I'm gonna use glossy varnish. I think that's good. I'm just gonna close that. And I think we are done. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notification if I have a new drawing. Uh, thank you. See you again.